So I'm going to start off by opening up this temple space, invite the living beings of light and the living crystals energy, the living God, the living power and the principle of the logos to saturate this place right now. We want to open up this temple space as a space where we know we are standing on holy ground, where we are inviting the Holy Spirit to dwell inside of this space, where we are allowing for ourselves to come into the spirit of surrender and submission. So we want to take every thought captive. We want to take everything that is not in alignment with truth, godliness, purity, devotion, and uh, service captive. And we want to then bring this to the altar. We want to surrender. We want to come into consecration. We want to say, God, consecrate my heart, consecrate my life, consecrate my mind, allow for me to be sanctified by the power of your truth, allow for me to be clear, very, very, very clear in all that I am, in all that I do, in all that you have called me to do. So we make this space holy according to the power and the principle of the living crystal energy, the living light of God, the power of the truth of God. We make this place holy and we are calling in the power of the temple that is now erected profoundly in our lives in a very, very powerful way. We hold the truth within our system. We hold the truth within our bodies. We hold the truth within our consciousness. We hold the truth within our spirit that the temple calls of the living life of God will now be structured so that we are now functioning in the pillars and the strength of the holy truth. And we are now completely erected <laughs> with the God principle. We want the erected God principle to dwell within us. And we want to know that we are carrying the powerful consciousness to also raise women up inside the temple spaces, to also provide a space where we have a container, where we can run temples, where we can allow for the same power, the same principle, the same goodness, the same spirit of the living life of Christ to saturate everything that we are about, that we do, that we are now moving. We want to serve in the highest. And I decree that this space is a space where we are serving in the highest and the best. And we are serving the living life of God. We're serving the living light of God. We are in service to the greater good. So now we accept and we surrender our hearts, our minds, our lives, and everything to the will of God and to the higher principle. And we just allow for the power and the principle of God to saturate once more, allow for our voice to be the voice of God, allow for our voice to be the voice of God, even in the things that we write, even in our thought world, allow for the thoughts to be the thoughts of God, allow for our minds to be the living rail line principle that is activated in our bodies now. We activate the living gray line principle in our bodies now. We activate the living gray line principle in our hearts now. We activate the living gray line principle in our souls now. We activate the living logos and the living gray light principle in our lives now. We send this forth into the earth and we ground this principle in into the earth. We send it forth into the hearts and the minds of those who are going to be liberated by this truth. You know, activate this space with the living gray light principle of the line and the line of the tribe of Judah that will break every chain and bring deliverance, bring victory, bring transformation in the hearts and the minds and the lives of everyone that's listening to this transmission now and let it go out into the world. Let us be women who are serving nations and serving kingdoms and raising people up and structuring their consciousness because the life of God, the glory of God, the power of God, the majesty of God, the majesty vow of God inside of this space now, we send it forth into the earth and we are thankful for the kingdom and the glory of God that is established in this earth. And we are thankful for the kingdom and the glory of God that 
is established within us as the living temple. The living temple. The living temple. The living temple. We are grateful for embodying these codes and for the codes of the living life of God to dwell with us. We're thankful that God dwells with us in this space. Holy God, we are grateful that you are dwelling with us and that we are your dwelling place. We proclaim right now that we are your dwelling place. We proclaim this as the truth right now. Let no other God be before you and let us only serve the living God. Let us only serve the living truth, the living truth. and let us only serve that which is of the highest good, we decree it now, and it is so. Thank you. All right, so we are going to now move into the space in consciousness where we are going to be moving to the transmission. If you've received this fully, say, yes, I receive it. If you've received this transmission, that I just brought through, say, yes, I receive it, I receive it, I receive it. It is the living power of God that is now dwelling in me richly. That everything that I am going to be created from this day forward is going to be moved along the God principle because the life of God is in me and the life of God dwells in me. I claim it as my truth now. Let everything be touched by this. Let my money be touched, my mind be touched, my heart be touched. Everything be touched by this. My business is touched by this. My children, they're touched. My house is blessed. Everything is blessed by the living God principle that dwells in me. And I also now claim under the authority of this, right, that all things will be blessed and be made holy. If you receive it, say, I receive it fully and completely, yes, and it is so.